And this is your single leg stretch, one leg stretch. So lying supine, feet flat on the floor, knees hip width apart, sitting nice and tall, shoulders, shoulders stabilized, engaging your deep core muscles and your pelvic floor. Please raise one leg to tabletop, nice 90 degree angle behind the knee. Make sure you can balance that champagne glass. Second leg to tabletop. Unless you're a beginner, then do one leg at a time. But if you're intermediate, second leg to tabletop. Nice deep inhale here. And then what I'd like you to do is stretch one leg to the back of the room and back again, and then alternate to the other one. If you're sort of between beginner and intermediate, you can put a leg down in between, so you don't have to exchange, alternate from here. What I'd like you to imagine is there's a light switch on the back room, on the back wall, and with your toe, you're just trying to flick that light switch on and off. So we're alternating one leg at a time, which is why it's the one leg stretch or the single leg stretch. Please engage in that deep lateral thoracic breathing. And really focus on those angles, so that 90 degree angle. And you can see sometimes mine are too high, so I need to check myself in the mirror. Right, if you're advanced, I'd like to raise your head and shoulders coming off the ground and continuing. Make sure those deep TVA muscles are engaged and that pelvic floor engaged at 20 to 30 percent. Now this isn't rushed. Pilates is not about rushing. It's about being in control throughout the movement. And you have to concentrate for that and that helps develop your muscles. Okay, we're almost there. So last one on each side in your own time. And then if you are advanced, I'd like you to bring your head and shoulders back down and then float one leg to the floor at a time. And again, if you'd like a really stretch, feel free to go into that lovely full body stretch. Mm. 